Just to give you some backstory heading into this match, I saw that the pools, the Evo pools were dropped. They were announced in advance, of course. They had, they announced the pools in advance, and I saw that they had put Ninja in my path in like top, like right outside of pools, man, which is not normal. And then I was like, you know what? They're probably going to change the bracket because why would they do that, right? It's too early. And then they dropped the second version of pools and the shit was still the same. So I was like, wow, I got second last year, which means I'm a very high seed. But they basically super, like they seeded Ninja so incorrectly that he ended up being in my path. And people can say that it was because he didn't compete in a long time. But bro, come on. Like we know the shit, the little things he did compete in, he either won or got like top two. I could have complained and got him moved out my path. So I didn't have to fight him so early in the bracket. But I wanted to take on the challenge and I wanted to, you know, I didn't want to be that guy that was like i don't want to fight the killers coming into this set right i was contemplating who i was going to pick a lot because me and ninja had ran a first of 10 like a shortly after last evo when i had cooked pretty convincingly at evo aside from the twins with kotal and i and he cooked my kotal and i was like okay fujin versus kotal is not gonna work for me in this case because i've already played him in that and he plays very different from the twins i already knew that was not the pick at all coming into this didn't want to pick kano even though i usually pick kano versus all fujin players because he just knows the shit too well in and out. I went Johnny because I notoriously have done pretty well versus Fujin players with Johnny before I've ever played Kano. And I was talking to the twins and they were like, who are you going to play? I was like, I really don't know. Might mirror because I really don't know who I'm going to play versus Fujin. The character is so broken. I was like, I feel like the only character that can fight Fujin is Fujin. And at the end of the day, look at what the grand finals was. Look at what the top three was. That's exactly what it was. <clears throat> And the, and the Johnny Cage pick was doing really good for me, actually. And let me pause this real quick. Coming into this event, I was definitely more so geared towards Street Fighter 6. This isn't an OS, but I was more so geared towards Street Fighter 6. I was kind of coming into MK11 hoping that my raw talent, it was going to just carry me pretty far. And actually, I did pretty well. I didn't grind as heavily um, to win as, as Ninja Killer obviously was, but I still felt like I could take it. And I could have. Maybe a different character would have done it. Maybe if I started off with the Fujin Mirror, because I actually did good at the Fujin Mirror. But, like, I got a round shit, but I definitely wasn't as locked in on 11. We we, we hold those L's. Creating some space here. The, the better right man won the, 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 the set and won the event. Okay. Starting off pretty even. The anti-air, that Great back catch. two out of the air. And now... Oh, the bait. So many down ones, you think there's nothing else coming? So right there, 4-3. A big thing about this matchup that is pretty, that I like Johnny for is his, his buttons. His buttons contest Fujins pretty well. His 4-3 is, 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 is advancing, so it keeps Fujin's movement at bay. Look at it. Unfortunately, dropped the cancel, which literally would have been the round. If I didn't drop that cancel, it would have been the round. Maybe the game, if I, because I actually got the net, like, the, I actually got a round in this set so if i just got that first round would have been huge but i dropped it nerves maybe execution i don't think i was nervous i think it was just because my execution was trash right there not gonna lie you can have no nerves and just drop shit so johnny cage's buttons definitely uh contest fujins pretty well and uh johnny's a pretty safe character so the nice micro duck Doing shit like that is very scary versus uh, Fujin because if you're just off slightly, you're getting hit for like 30 into corner carry. I was making a lot of hard reads with just doing one, two after my uh, strings, hoping that he would just get clipped, but he would just move backwards and then whiff punish me. So it was kind of a, uh, I was making a lot of hard reads. So when you play Ninja, somebody like Ninja or Twins, you have to make hard reads. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I wish I made less hard reads in this set when I go look back at it. So yeah, like as you can see, the Johnny Cage pick wasn't like a complete, like what the fuck is he doing? Like his Kota went ham last year. Why is he picking Johnny Cage versus Ninja of all sets? Like I know Johnny Cage is definitely not as up there in the tiers as Fujin is. Um, but for the matchup sake of it, it, it seemed like a good pick in my, uh, in my opinion. And it was, I just could have played better. Like right there, there, I did that a lot. My pressure was so autopilot. I wasn't switching it up. Every time I landed a poke on hit, I wish every time you go back on Twitch, it doesn't rewind like 30 fucking seconds. But my, my pressure was very like autopilot. Like every time I landed a poke on hit, I went straight into one, two, four. Like look at this round, it's starting off strong. I have the health lead. I could really look right there. I went straight into one, two, four. I should have maybe went for a shimmy opportunity, staggered him up a little bit, but I went straight into one, two, four. 
I should have layered my offense a little deeper. And then I jumped from full screen. Honestly, just not thinking I'd get anti air from that far, but that was huge. That anti air made him have the health lead. I tried to dash block right there, and then that's why I got clipped by that back one. So this is just like so bad of a situation right here, just because like, yeah, he has, I didn't even know he had that loaded. Like, it's hard to pay attention to what pushes Fujin has loaded when you're the one defending chip out. Not much I could do. And then I went Johnny again in the rematch because the first match I didn't feel like I lost because like the matchup was just trash. I just felt like I made a couple bad decisions and just lost. I felt like if I just cleaned it up, I could win. I'm really surprised the string didn't whiff right there. He, that was super max distance. Yeah, like I'm this is just looking real it was real Fujin round right here. So yeah, like then just whole game plan against pretty much anybody, especially players like me, is to just get the health lead and then run away. Right there he didn't have to go in. But you know, he's just a, he's he's trying to catch me overextending, trying to go in and catch him. So sometimes he goes in. Yeah, that was ridiculous. There's not a lot of Fujin players that are doing that, bro. There's not a lot of Fujins that are going to back to anti-air you on reaction from full screen and then get the convert. Like, that's not happening that much. Ninja was getting hit by a lot of 4-3s in this set, which was surprising because, like, 4-3 is, like, a very good normal, but it is a high. And uh, I would think that Ninja would just be trying to slide under him or just poke, but he really wasn't. Right there, I got caught trying to keep the momentum, and I got caught double poking. Really, sh I just was too aggressive right there. Now I'm like, now he's like more in this than he really should be. And then I missed the punish on that. It was just a lot of missed punishes. Ninja was just not playing as, he wasn't playing as perfect as I thought he would. He was making a lot of mistakes, and I don't know if it was also nerves. Um, for him but he wasn't playing as perfect there was a lot of opportunity there for me but like right there wasn't ready for that managed to do the fatable cancel combo to save the, the the glasses kb and the fatable at the same time so now i still have both logged and loaded for the next round like right there he tried to duck my fireball and back two but he got when like see something like that see that's the only thing i don't like about johnny cage is something like that would have been like a huge punish for some other characters like if it, for, for luke kang it would have been a flying kick that shit's like 20 percent maybe you know kotal khan would have been four two but that might match up overall sucks so that's not worth switching because of that one punish but all johnny gets right there is you know a shadow kick which is a punish that's more than some characters get but that doesn't do anything for me it doesn't give me much damage and it pushes him full screen like look at that look at that i could have punished that one too but like i didn't want to shadow kick him again i also like the utility that freaking uh johnny cage's force balls add to the matchup it kind of keeps it kind of keeps uh this projectiles fast enough to keep fujin from just chucking out pushes like he doesn't eat a he doesn't he eats a fireball anytime he pretty much tries to push right there I tried to do dash up one too, but I didn't get it. So that's why he just, people were like, he's so god like he, he whiffed the grab to try to bait me to punt. No, he just, he probably didn't. I don't think he, he, he probably tried to dash up grab me. He didn't get his dash. And then I saw that panicked and didn't get my dash, missed the punish. And then he punished me. It was just a lot of ugly right there. Whiffing grab in this game as an attempt to, to bait is not a thing. It's not like Street Fighter where the get grabs are covered. I 100% overstand it right here. I kind of just did the, the, the shadow kick. I like really threw the game though, but I did the shadow kick to try to just close the distance, but he was just doing absolutely nothing. So he just punished me. Like I'm thinking he's going to like, you know, maybe do a push. So I overextended, and then he dropped the combo. Could have won this, but the time on the clock, look, 10 seconds left. Like, I have to throw. He knows I have to throw. So I overextend right here and commit to a 4-3 because I'm thinking that he might just go ahead and try to run out the corner. But he woke up backdash, which was the right thing to do. 
if I throw him backwards, which is going to be the ideal thing he wants, it's not going to kill him. It's going to put him full screen. The situations there are just not favorable. I throw him backwards, he goes, he runs away. If I throw him forward, he's going to tech it. That's the only downside about Johnny is his comeback abilities. Pretty good with the sun, with the shades, but that's only if you get hit. So at this point, I'm like, all right, I'm down 2-0. Like, I lost two games that were very winnable. As you can see, Ninja was one combo away from dying. He could have died in the other game too. So I'm like, damn, two games, two close ones. I'm not gonna go go Johnny again at this point. I'm down 2-0. Might as well make a switch. I was originally gonna pick Fujin anyway to mirror him. That was the game plan coming into the set, but I let outside opinions influence my character choice. So I was like, you know what? Let me try this Fujin shit out. I really wasn't playing him like that coming into this. So it, Fujin really wasn't warm. The majority of my Evo run was me just beating people with Kano, if I'm being honest, which is surprising because I didn't play a lot of Kano coming into the event. But when I ended up playing, when I got to the tournament, I was just like, bro, Nobody can deal with this Kato shit, so I'm just gonna play this shit. If you're looking at optimal, look no further. Everything has been the perfect option so far. And rewind. Sad to say, love the guy to bits. He's in big trouble right now. You think I'll win? I don't know how good you are, bro. Making a little something happen now, but Ninja Killer right on it. Not giving the chance. Good response. Yeah, whenever he punished Skywalker with Skywalker, I was like, yeah, he's too he's too ready for this. Yeah, look at the micro ducks on that. Like, I was even trying to delay my grabs. Oh my gosh. Strong start right there. Get the hit, get out the corner, get him off the defensive bar. Hit him with a combo right there. Get good meterless damage. 28 meterless. Stuffs his down three with the jump kick, drop the combo, which is actually kind of big. At this point, I could kind of just keep it safe with back one. I could throw, but that's technically overstanding. I hit him with back two, hit the combo, drop it. A lot of drops, a lot of missed punishes in the set. Not really from nerves, just kind of just from not being as sharp as I should have been. Read the grab though, got the combo, finished finished my plate, got the round. So I got a round in every single game. Yeah, it was a 3-0. Every game was winnable, but just couldn't close anything out like look at where this is at the bracket guys look at the top it's winners round two pools this is to make top 32 this was top 48 that was such a clutch jump in like that jump in killed me like yeah i did four three because i was trying to kind of keep him from just moving all over the place but then he just jumped if i was just patient i could have entered i woke up four three there in case he tried to like Start, start running away. Look, I got the health lead right here, you know, in the Fujin mirror. And this is like a Fujin god. And then that push KB, bro, it just took me right out the match. It just took me right out of it. At this point, like, I'm super tender, can't take much. And then he punished me. Yeah, that, that match of knowledge is just... Drop that combo. It's all bad, bro. I hit him so many times, like, right here. Could have, could have won this match off. Like, of course he wasn't gonna die from this combo, right? But I think the optimal thing right here would have been to do the one-one up four KB, get the free thirty percent, and then save the fatal blow for maybe a rob after that situation. I was trying to do one-two into some meatless shit. Like, I just dropped that shit because I didn't space it right, and then just get chipped. Right here, Ninja was telling me, he was like, I cannot believe they made us play this early. It, he was just telling me, like, it was supposed to be us versus them, not us versus each other. But he ended up winning anyways. Still made a hell of a loser's run, so I'm not too upset. Still got a, I still got a medal at the end of the day. But GG to Ninja, man. He played good. He At the end of the day, you get as much as you put in, right? He put in more than me. He's playing the better character. He beat me, you know? That's how it really should turn out. If I win, that's crazy, you know?